beautiful Saturday morning here today. I thought since I'm out of the market, my local market, Platzner Stavach market, uh, it's my favorite market. All of the markets we've covered now on our videos, this one just happens to be our local one. It's the smallest one, but I love it because it has everything we need and the things that we get here are super great quality. So it won't take long to show you around because it's the smallest market. What a gorgeous day it is. I, I, I'm in a t-shirt. A, it's actually warm enough to wear a t-shirt and B, a bird decided to poop on my jacket as I was I was walking here, so not entirely by uh, my wish that I'm not wearing my jacket ever. But it's warm. Look at this. It's awesome. So Platz Nastavac Market is in Salvatore. So I won't say exactly where it is. It's maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. Maybe a bit longer, maybe like 20, 25 minutes walk if you come along the riverbank. Platz Nastavac. Anyway, first shop is our fish shop, which is called Marlin, which we love. I've made videos on getting fish and chips here before. They cook the fish. They have such different varieties of fish and they'll cook them for you and you can eat them outside. They're fantastic. You've got local producers coming, bringing their stuff. We've got several butchers. This is one. Good morning. Hi, how are you? <laughs> but this is another batches, so two batches. But our favorite, our favorite, I'll show you. That's still that same butchers, it's long. It's a cool market because you've got, um, as well as some locals coming selling stuff, you've got the clothes and some lace products here today. My favorite, if you follow my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of Secret Smaku. They're in every market. They've got other shops and cafes around the city as well. For me, the best pierogi in town, especially the Mexicanski, but they're, they've got great sort of cooked goods. Not many people come here self-catering, but if you were self-catering, these guys just do delicious food. All the local produce, honeys. Some people just come in bringing their stuff from the gardens. Some guys have a little bit more to offer. Guy here has nearly sold all of his stuff, got a bit of cake. Dzień dobry. how are you? I know this lady is for, well, this is the olive shop. This one is only open at the weekends. This is where we buy, you know, toilet roll, kitchen roll, soaps and things. They're very friendly. Hi. <laughs> this one is kind of a little weird. You just go up to the window here to buy. You don't actually go inside, but they've got excellent like jars of sauce, eggs, pastas. Here for tomato sauces, some different cheeses, the soft cheeses. He's got a bit of cheddar there, which will be delicious. Of course you've got lots of produce stands this place opened recently Zalewski this is for like sausages and cooked meats high high quality really first-class produce stands now we're coming up on hello <laughs> we're coming up on one of my favorites Kukiena Rosa. It is fantastic. This lady, she is one of my favorites. Hello, how are you? This is, I'm saying on YouTube, you're the best. You're fantastic. I'm telling all my YouTube friends, this is excellent bakery and how much I love it. I love it. We bought some yesterday. My girlfriend bought lots yesterday next time but you're excellent this lady takes wonderful care it's amazing thank you that cake shop has the best kapushka which are like cabbage rolls in pastry they're fantastic 
and they have fantastic cakes really fantastic cakes it's kind of funny she always upsells you be careful whatever you go in to get you come out with a lot more than you intended on this side of the market here you normally find a few garment places i just want to step under the very corner because there's one place i have to tell you about Josef Velk. This is incredible cake shop. I'm not going to go in because I'm just walking around the outside a bit, but their cakes are highest, highest class. Absolutely divine. Fresh cream cakes of the highest quality and great prices. It's the only problem is it's too good because it's just it's hard to walk past it. Oh, that's changed. That used to be like a little hardware shop. I hope he didn't go out of business. your cabbage rolls and your pastries it's fantastic okay I'm gonna swing around to the other side oh let's go down here there's kind of three lanes this middle lane you see there's a uh, secret smaku so it's just the stuff that we saw but from the other side I don't know typical market gear a rain jacket, always good idea for Krakow. So down this one really, none of the little uh, shops, just more stalls, but some very good produce. Eat your heart out, UK. So loads of choice for a small market. I don't know, there's maybe like 10 or 15 different vendors with produce. Another bake shop here and cafe. This is more like a sort of typical chain one. So I gotta say, I prefer the other two, but you know, that these are good for bread. And you know, it's not that their cakes are bad. It's just that the other two are fantastic. There's like a motor vehicle parts shop here with oils and basic essentials here another delicatessen a little bit like secret smaku I don't give these guys a lot of business I should give them more but I'm such a fan of secret smaku I never tend to get past them Another olives place. This little one on the corner tends to just be open at the at the weekends. But Monday to Saturday, fruit and veg people always here. Most of the shops are open here. Now this place is one of the best things about living here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is the best meat shop that we have found in the whole of the city, Volarek. Volarek. Everything we buy from here, everything. The chicken, the veal, the ground meat, the cooked meats is sensational. Like the quality is fabulous. And we always have a bit of a joke with the ladies inside. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we are so lucky to have this meat shop it's everything just tastes great this is what what's kind of weird like even just chicken or turkey or especially the veal here it's like fabulous we are so lucky. This is why we shop here all the time. We never go to the supermarket. 
because the supermarket stuff a isn't as good b it's actually probably a bit cheaper to go to the supermarket sometimes this is like your little corner shop so here we go for milk and butter you know so this is the one for the little essentials that you need not your typical market stuff but you know you got to get butter you got to get milk you got to get cream so we can get it Beautiful, beautiful flowers in Dobre. Now, also a pet store. So, hi. So, uh, three cats we have. Oh, three cats, get everything they need. Here's some of your uh, smoked cheese, fresh creams. I am from the UK, but then I lived in the US for 20 years. Yeah. Now I live just down the street here. Uh -huh. I have a YouTube channel. For, for well, my no, because I shop here. This is my local market. Yeah. But I love, I love it. It's the yeah, best. It's the best market in Krakow. Yeah. The yeah. best. So I'm making a video to say it's the best market. More pet store stuff, and then we have a little Ubalat. A little baby Ubalat. So Ubalat is the big orange department store. You probably see if you move around town it's the big soviet style 70s department store which sells everything and we have a little baby one so of course it sells everything so you know you need a plastic bucket you need a mop you need some glasses this this has a little bit of everything and that's why we can find everything we need here look at the flower this is you know we're just coming out of winter i'm so happy i'm filming today because it's just become an explosion of color these you learn they're not for the house these these are typically what people put when they're uh, they put them on the graves at the cemeteries they're a little bit more uh, Kind of for that, so not to decorate your apartment with typically flowers galore. Hi, hi, and then this is our favorite. This is our favorite flowers guy. I don't know if he'll say hello, he's not shy. Nina and I always get our flowers from here. Hi, you're gonna be on our video this week. Because we always buy our flowers from you. <laughs> and to end it off with a sweet shot. Reflections bad today because the sun is shining. And then back at Vilk. So that's it. Just a quick unplanned video. But since we featured a market last week, at Novi Klepash and we've done Stary Klepash and Ibramov Ibramovich there's another one we've done we've done three big markets all of which are great but this one is my favorite see how small it is you see how it's got everything that you need so you can avoid supermarkets um, Polish prices you don't you know you get a lot for your money here uh, most importantly of all quality we have that excellent fish shop excellent volaric sensational butchers fresh produce get your soaps get whatever you need uh fantastic flowers so we shop here several times a week and it's just by exception that we have to go to one of the more traditional traditional supermarkets so probably not something you'll put on your list of places to visit and it's definitely a neighborhood market like i said perhaps 20 25 minutes walk out of the city center it's it's near to the salvatore area so trams number one and two their last stop is salvatore we're very close to that but if you just want to come and see how people in the in the neighborhood where they come and get their stuff hi this little lady I'm raving to, she was uh, did a bit of translation for me in the fish shop today. 
um yeah if you just want to come and see how we how we do it in the neighborhoods here come check it out and if you're self-catering come and try some of the stuff it's great Viva. so this is one of our favorite ladies that nina and i stop by every week she always catches us when we go by and we buy something from the market now you're gonna expect me to get something today but i'm not shopping i'm going to kashimish i'm going to kashimish but i just wanted to say hello no, no, hello mm -hmm. yes this lady and her daughter are here every week and although they don't have like the big market stall they always have they always have something good and fresh and interesting for us thank you i just had to come and show you inside secret smaku like i haven't shown you this a hundred times on my videos but everything is fantastic the meat lasagna one of my favorites the goulash beef and sauce tomato soup i could go on and on the meats the salads let me say hello to this lady can i put you on my video today i'm say i always say secret smaku is my favorite and you're the favorite as well and of course every all of the 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 food so I think, I think the major, the biggest part of our money on food since we moved to Poland has been in Secret Smaku, <laughs> and they always, always so super friendly. Ciao. Now my favorite ladies who work in the fish shop aren't working today, but I will put a link to the video where we had fish and chips here yeah, because it made my day when we found out that we could also get fish and chips at my favorite market. Hello ladies, excellent, excellent produce today. Fantastic, good job. <laughs> okay, I won't forget you, excellent. Excellent, honeys. Superb. So right back at Marlin. So soon they're going to unpack the tables. And the fish and chips are the best in Krakow here. What can I tell you? I don't think I give these guys a fair shout on the way past at the beginning. There you go. So the name of the market again, Platz na Stabac. It used to be like a little lake or something like that. Belonged to the nearby convent. There's a huge convent here. If you come by tram, that's where you get off. So there's some history to this place at all. It's a, some history to this place. It's in like a little square. If you feel like a different type of day and you just want to come and check out some non-touristy stuff, come here. And just down the block from here, Golankania. Golankania, my number one restaurant for Port Knuckle. This is definitely a place that's worth coming and spending a little bit of time. Stabac. All around the square as well, more bakeries, cafeterias. It's like a news agent here. The best ice cream shop. I think it's opening. It's been closed for the winter, but I see a writing. So let me show you. Platz Nastavac. And you want to come here. Sensational ice cream. One of the chain store bakeries. And another bakery. Another couple of bakeries. So even just on the outside block of the market, we are spoiled. The market, two other gems I have to tell you about. How about the best cheese shop in town? Yeah, we didn't see a lot of cheese, but just off the market, the best cheese shop. It's sensational. Hey. 
This guy has got some great ranges of cheeses. And what I do is I go in and I just say, hey, tell me what do you recommend this week? And he comes up with some great, wonderful, different cheeses for me. They're mind blowing. Final stop. Is it open? Don't think it's open yet. We're a bit early. Opposite the cheese shop. Opposite the cheese shop. You might not even notice it down in the basement. Down in the basement here. You know what this is? It's a Hungarian wine shop. All it does is sell the Hungarian wines. And very good value for money. It's a great discovery going through the Hungarian wines. They'll spend their time and help you find what you want. So wine tick, cheese tick, pharmacies tick, hardwares, clothes, provisions. We're doing great. <laughs> I got one more thing to show you. Even one of our official buildings has a little garden around the back. You can go and sit. Last of, last but not least, we even have our own, I'm not going to call them a milk bar, but they're like a milk bar, Karmnik, our own local restaurant. Simple food in a simple setting. Every day there's a choice of like eight or 10 home cooked meals. Can't really show you it with the sun shining off it. But look, look how sophisticated the uh, the board is. But your money goes a long way in this little restaurant. That's Nastavac. Down this side, Apteca is pharmacy. This one, Hygieia, Hygieia. Pharmacies in Poland are really great. And you know what? If you're coming from the States like I did, the, you'd be shocked how low the prices are compared to the US, or rather how ripped off you are in the US for drugs when you see what you actually pay for them here, a, a tiny fraction of the cost. The final thing to say, Platzna Stavac, just walk down here. Walk through the little pathway there. You come out on the other side. You come out at Golankania. Which is a must do.